This is a teardown and capacity test of the Hercules 20 volt lithium 2.5 amp hour battery. What do you expect to see? You know what? I'll tell you what you should expect to see. Facts. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Oh man, I am pleased with the controversy that Harbor Freight has drummed up regarding these Hercules drills and showing them next to the DeWalt drills uh, in the advertising and saying, blah, 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 better than DeWalt because cha-ching. <laughs> However, I am not pleased with the amount of videos and comments that are going around like without proof and or they have like questionable proof that begs verification. For example, I was watching this video by Ave, A-V-E. Uh, be warned if you go over to his videos, uh, his language use is very creative, which is cool, but it's also very vulgar. So guard your young. Uh, this video is good regarding the teardown of his, but, but like the, in the video quality and all that, but, but I'm not sure that his opinions are on point, but I mean, at least regarding the battery. So at about 40 minutes into that video, and I'll link it uh, in the description below in the eye in the corner of the screen. Yeah. Uh, he says, uh, it, the, the one he tested the battery, the Hercules one is a, about a one and a half amp hour and not two and a half. And uh, and uh, I disagree, and I will show you what I've discovered. I watched that video last night, and light bulb, I have test equipment for just this thing. And if he was right, then we should all file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission, right? Because you can't lie like that. Like, I'm going to sell you a metal knife, and then it's a plastic knife. Like, nope, can't do that. Against the law. All right, so the teardown of the battery. Please pardon the camera quality. I had to film it like for a long duration and this was the camera that I got that can do that. Okay, so I charged the battery to full before I tore it apart. Uh, if you saw my last test video of the drill, uh, I used uh, like a full charge and then uh, drained all the way and then charged the battery up to only two bars. Let it sit until today when I charged it to full. So that's some battery history. The battery uh, was really easy to take apart. There's only four screws and that, that's it. Everything pops apart after that. Uh, there's no like glue or anything extra. So I like that. Hey, Ryobi, are you watching? So hard taking apart your battery so hard. Okay, one cool thing I noticed is that the spring for the button, like the retraction stayed in place. That's cool. Check out this piece of aluminum. Yeah, looks like it's for cooling and it's machined to fit the battery cells and you can see some like thermal glue or something adhering the cells to the aluminum spot welded tabs on the cells are standard uh, quality as well as the circuit board well I, I mean I can say all the parts seem to be in place correctly and the amount of solder seemed appropriate uh, you can see a thermal sensor here that's good yeah Blue and red. Nice. That's very fitting for this dissection. There's another look at the compound stuff between the cells and the aluminum. Yeah, everything seems pretty standard here. Uh, nothing special except for the cooling, which is nice, that hunk of aluminum. Uh, I need to get my hands on a DeWalt battery. Okay, quick notification. If I have any related videos, like taking apart a DeWalt battery, uh, it will be linked in the eye in the corner of the screen. So go ahead and uh, click that and see if I've got any videos there. Uh, I went to Lowe's today and like drooled over a, a plethora of DeWalt tools trying to find the one that this like drill is supposed to be up against. But yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out later. Moving on. Okay, so testing the capacity involves hooking up the positive and negative main leads uh, to the charger and then every negative connection in the series gets connected to uh, the balance plug of the charger I have here. And you can see me do that. And then I set uh, the thing up on my computer and start the discharge. And it discharges at a certain maximum rate, which uh, for a five series pack, which is five cells in series like this battery, uh, it can only discharge at like uh, 0.3 amps max. And I'm talking about the charger specifically. The battery can do more than that, of course. Uh, so I discharge it and then charge the pack. Uh, nine hours after discharging, you can see that my charger, and this is sped up, uh, it read 2,343 milliamp hours 
of discharge. Uh, I then charged it at the full rate, which topped out at about three amps, which is much quicker than the discharge function. And you can see the charts that I was able to save because the software stuck through the charge. Uh, it crashed during the discharge. So I only have the LCD panel of the charger itself. It does that frequently that the software crashes. That's what you get with the IMAX B6 AC V2. <laughs> you can see the voltages after the discharge though here, uh, per cell and then the uh, overall. And then you can see it with the, the charge. It was at 2,344 milliamp hours of capacity. And you can see the amps charge chart, the volt charge chart, and the capacity charge chart too. Charge, charge, charge. <laughs> Lots of charts. Overall, there is a usable 2,300 plus milliamp hours in this battery. 2.3 plus amp hours. Also, after the discharge, I put the battery on the drill and ran it some, uh, and it was still working. It didn't cause the low voltage uh, shutoff. So, yeah, I was showing one bar on the battery gauge after the discharge. However, when I ran the drill like this, uh, for a bit, the battery light would not even like illuminate. It barely flickered. So, pretty dead, I think, is what that means. <laughs> uh, again, the low voltage cutoff did not engage during the drill trigger pulling no load okay so what are the facts the video you saw here that i shot was of the single battery that came with my drill fact the things that i used was a toolkit that i bought from ifixit for the special torx bit screws on the battery a imax b6ac v2 charger and the charge master software uh, charge master 2 that uh, that the maker of the charger sky rc provides and then uh, the drill, of course, fact. What the capacity readings for the battery were was around 2,340 milliamp hours, fact. This is not a 1.5 amp hour battery. It's a usable 2.3 amp hours and above battery, fact.